Welcome back Halo followers. Today we're going to be breaking down the new Inside Infinite update on Halo Waypoint. This update covers tons of things about the multiplayer, about seasons, and something called fractures and events, and our role in the Halo experience and story moving forward and how we're going to influence that somehow. Just tons of really interesting things regarding the battle pass, the season pass, brand new images, and waypoints next uh, next new update coming with Infinite. A lot of big changes are coming to Halo, so certainly stuff you're not going to want to miss. But guys, before we jump into it, be sure to smash that like button blue and subscribe. Join me on the journey of following Halo. So firstly, they talk about what they're planning to do with the live team, right? Because Halo Infinite is a live service game, which just simply means that this game is going to get new content as time goes on. They are focusing on healthy engagement is, you know, it's paramount for them. Uh, we maintain a player first focus, provide unambiguous value and always be listening, learning and experimenting. They talk about seasons, and actually the first battle pass is going to be called Heroes of Reach, but we'll talk about that soon. But seasons are the core container or framework for the content we'll be delivering to our players. It's a concept they should be familiar with in MCC already, pretty much proving that MCC has been a testing grounds for Halo Infinite. So they say this, roughly every three months, they're going to kick off a new season with brand new content stuff that includes updates new gameplay content new events new systems new customizations new progressions new 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 and you can see a new picture of some armor here called the wild coven armor coating so yeah tons of new content including they don't say it here but they did confirm it in the recent overview video that there will be new weapons coming as well probably new vehicles just like what we saw with halo 5. So they say, so we decided on roughly three months because it gives players a good amount of time to experience and explore the seasonal content without getting tiresome and without constantly pulling the rug from under players. Remember, these seasons are actually not going to expire. The battle passes aren't going to expire. You absolutely do not need to wait three months for bug fixes. That's a big thing. They're not going to be updating the game every three months. They're just going to be adding new content every three months, but they will be constantly updating the game. For season one, think of events as fun things for the players to experience and get rewarded. Almost every week will mix up the activities that are presented to the player. Certain big weeks will feature events that have new activities and special reward tracks, free reward tracks. So even if you decide not to buy the battle pass, you're still going to be getting new content with these seasons for free. We will provide more details on specific events before launch, but we'll be on the lookout for but be on the lookout for a special event type with special thematic rewards called a fracture. Now pause right there. Look at this epic image. This is official. You might recognize the style. This is most likely done by Wang Time, right? Or Pixel Flare Studios, as uh, as he now goes by. But yeah, he got hired at 343 as a marketing designer. He used to be a community member. And look at the new pistol, right? Obviously, they updated it if you haven't noticed it now, the sidekick. But this is the uh, the special armor that will be coming with uh, Season 1. And he has the grappling hook. Looks really cool. Down here, it says Fractures. And right under that, it says Tenray. So, interesting. I'm not quite sure what that means. I know the armor is called y Yori or something, but that is not the armor name. But anyway, the Battle Pass and other main vectors will supply cannon customization the fracture and some events will at times lean into further into things further afield like the yori armor shown in the multiplayer trailer so interesting that the battle pass is going to focus on cannon customization but the fractures these events think destiny right there's probably going to be like spartan ops like events that players can join and partake in maybe it's killing a bunch of bots maybe it's uh, playing some part of the campaign. I'm not quite sure, but it's probably going to be special events with AI, right? Maybe even like Warzone kind of events. But this guy says, out of the gate, players can get starting gearing, get rewards from free battle pa pass track, the paid battle pass track, challenges, skill rewards, event reward tracks, legacy rewards, Halo 5's SR-152, and be rewarded for some campaign actions. So a lot of different progression possibilities here. First and foremost, we're working hard to ensure that the battle pass is a grind for players. We want it to be a supplemental reward stream for the time you were already putting into the game. I, for one, can't stand it when I'm playing a game just to complete the battle pass. It feels like a chore to me. 
all battle passes will be permanent. That means when you pay the $10, $15 or whatever for the battle pass, then that means you will always be able to play that for, you know, indefinitely. It's like DLC, basically. It's not going to expire like has now become a trend with a lot of games, especially Destiny. Season 1 Battle Pass will be around forever. You can always go back and purchase any prior battle passes. Additionally, their passes will always include various free rewards in addition to the premium track. So when these battle passes drop, it looks like you're going to be getting stuff very easily, or at the very least, even if you don't buy it, you will still get stuff for it. So another picture here, Cadet Orange Armor Coating looks very, very cool. I really do love the helmet and take note of the cyborg right arm. Anyway, moving on, there's a lot of stuff about Halo Waypoint here, which I'm not going to really cover because it's probably not very juicy. And I want to focus on like the, you know, the very juicy stuff that, uh, but basically they're reworking Halo Waypoint. All you really need to know is that Waypoint is going to be available on your phone. It's getting a nice redesign and it's going to be implemented with Halo Infinite a lot. You know, accessing your Spartan customizations, progression, gameplay stats are all there on Waypoint and within a few taps of your fingers. So very, very neat. And there's probably a lot of stuff like the battle pass. You can see what's going to be unlocked, uh, unlockable tomorrow. Then there's a time limit. There's probably, you know, daily challenges, probably weekly challenges as well. And you can also check out the event battle pass and taking a look at your armors. You can also customize your Spartan on the go as well. And probably, which we'll, we'll talk about soon, but there's probably going to be postures or, or rather poses that you can have for your Spartan. So pretty pretty neat but nothing that's screaming like i should mention it but but yeah we actually have some customization going on here which i, I will want to talk about here soon but firstly let's read this there are several key features in progression including the summary battle pass and events sections from the summary page users can view their daily and weekly challenges see their next items to unlock in battle pass and next rewards from the current event there is a dedicated battle pass section that allows users to explore their current and past battle passes. They will also have the opportunity to buy battle passes right from the app. So a lot of thought, a lot of innovation has gone into the creating a system that's convenient for players. And just taking a closer look at this, this is the customization menu. It looks like from the console or from, from the actual game, not an app. But you can see right up here that there is a battle pass section, a tab, and then an event tab, and then a challenges tab. I'm really curious about the events, and I'm curious about the new gameplay opportunities that will come with that. But down here, you can see that there's rewards, how many rewards you've been earning. And then also, this pretty much confirms what the colors mean, as, as we've suspected, that the colors here, as you can see, a little yellow, blue, gray, purple. This is a ranking system with how rare these items are so up here you can see legendary left shoulder pad telling you that this shoulder pad is legendary it's one of the the hardest items to find in the game right next right next to probably one of the most rare items which is purple coated and so these aren't color coded these are actually uh oh wow i just saw this helmet that actually looks a lot like uh kelly's helmet or linda's helmet. i forget which one's which all the time but yeah, and then we can see Noble Six's helmet, Mark B helmet up here. Looks very reachy, and I'm very excited about all the possibilities here. You can see that it's the same pretty much. This is how it looks on the apps on different pages and stuff. And this is the Battle Pass tab. And yeah, just, just a lot of cool stuff. A little bit of lore, I guess, with the shoulders as well. But moving on, there's also something called Service Awards, which I, I don't completely understand, but kind of giving us a look at medals, I think, if not just uh, some kind of extra medal for maybe doing something like getting, I don't know, 5,000 kills in the game, and that will probably appear on your waypoint profile, I, I believe. But yeah, taking a look at this image, this is some concept art from the map that uh, the name will lose me, but this is basically the academy map that uh, looks like it's multiplayer friendly as well as bot arena or whatever, you know, the testing grounds for stuff. But Looks like bots are going to be available actually on most maps. But during the Halo Infinite section of the Xbox and Bethesda game showcase, they said that the Master Chief is the heart of Halo. This is, I believe, Joseph Staten talking now. 
but uh, or if maybe if is the whole article is him talking but uh, basically this isn't the whole truth he said there's another hero standing besides chief at the very heart of the universe some of you may have met this hero back in 2001 with the launch of halo ce some of you may meet this hero for the first time this holiday because this hero is you i totally thought he was in say cortana and the next time of their journey begins with the launch of Halo Infinite's most first multiplayer season, which we're calling Heroes of Reach. Customizing your character, making your Spartan look and sound exactly the way you want, is a huge part of the journey. So is tracking your triumphs and setbacks or interacting with your friends and foes on a new and improved waypoint. At the center of our plans is a goal deeply rooted in the multiplayer character in the larger Halo universe and give them a vital active role in the halo story moving forward which is interesting because it's talking about putting our spartans in the halo story somehow we're going to influence the story i don't know if this has anything to do with the events that might have stuff to do with the you know multiplayer uh, side of things you know that will tie into the lore maybe not because fractures uh, look like they're not lore friendly but Maybe that's just the awards, but if you have any thoughts about how this is all going to work, let me know down in the comment section below. How exactly we're going to do this in the seasons and years ahead? Well, we're not ready to share the details yet, but basically in the years ahead, we're going to be influencing the story somehow in multiplayer. But I can share that we picked Heroes of Reach as a seasonal theme for very specific reasons. Reach has a rich history. It's a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point for the new generations of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils and mysteries of the galaxy that has fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. So, I don't think so, but maybe at some point after Shadows of Reach, maybe the planet has been changed a little bit. Maybe these, maybe this place does take place on Reach, as, as we suspected. Probably a lot of the maps will just take place instead of Halo, but maybe there's going to be some Reach special maps, some familiarity of of you know halo reach multiplayer maps something that kind of is a throwback maybe it's destroyed maybe it's before the invasion or the fall of reach but yeah there's just a lot of cool stuff in here and you know i skipped over a lot of this stuff which i'll probably be covering in a stream but yeah if you want to read the whole thing then be my guest i don't think i'm gonna break this down in great detail in a video but certainly if you're into reading all of this and seeing all all the updates that they're doing to their site then yeah, check it out. But basically, the big big takeaway from this video that I find the most interesting is events and battle passes and how it's going to be focused on reach. And also, all the unlockables and customization looks incredibly thorough. And it probably, uh, you know, of course it is because this is, this is a free-to-play game. This is how they're going to make their money. This is how they're going to lure, lure maybe, hopefully millions of gamers in and, and keep at least an audience of maybe uh, 50,000 people playing a day that would be on par with I think Team Fortress 2 and around CSGO so I think that would be a good successful goal you know in reaching about that and look at that katana a short little katana I, I know what they're called but it's, it's a baby katana basically so yeah a lot to look forward to a lot to uh, a lot of unlock I wonder if you could put that on other Spartans too you know put that katana somewhere else but yeah, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about all this. I hope you enjoyed the video and breakdown, and I will catch you guys in the next one soon. Peace.